So now I'm just painting the ends of it. Okay, so for this 3D effect, how I achieved this, I did vinyl letters and cut them out and paste them on the, the sign. And then I, I put the puffy 3D paint on top. So you basically want to outline everything. And this is how it came out. And I'm so ecstatic with it. I got the sign from the Dollar Tree. And I got this from Walmart. Smelling like a come up in the answer for her problems, but I'm not him. I don't mind it though. You don't like me how you think you do. I like it though. I know I'm fine, but the money makes me handsome. Too big. And then you want to get put some in the water and then you want to take your brush and go all over the mask with it right so you're gonna dab it all over okay then you take a paper towel preferably something that has texture and then because the mask has to look you know, old and shit. And you know how Jason had his mask looking. So you want it to kind of look like that a little bit. And you can even do a third layer because this is actually my second layer. Okay, so now we're going to do his stripes. And I made my stencils from scratch, boo-boo kitty. You may have to apply a second coat or third coat to really get it the brightness of it. Okay, so this is a process to get it to look like this. So it's a combination of this paint right here chocolate bar by apple barrel i don't know if y'all can see that 
um, Tuscan red. And then, of course, your black. So, you want to start out with a light color and then do the ombre effect. And you want to gradually go into the dark to get it to look like this. So you want to start out light with your beige color and then you want to gradually build it up to the intensity of this. And he has so many different variations of hockey masks so it don't really matter but I think I did pretty good. <laughs> 